It don't happen again, no. This one uh, is coming from the office of uh, uh, the Biafran writers. <laughs> I know the call person names, so, but uh, this one is coming from the office of the Biafran writers. And make when I hear the headline, no. Uh, hey, this one nobody say na me talk amo. This one na them talk. My my objective uh, uh, um, duty is to bring uh, this news to your doorstep. Then uh, use your tongue to count your teeth according to Igbo adage. Also go very regular, go as a go no. Biafra, that is the breaking breaking news. Agent Provocatoire Ekperima, that is Simon Ekperima in Finland is a compound of fool for parading himself as a prime minister in exile. It's why na Biafra, na Biafra is the bash uh, Simon Ekpao. No, we may talk this one. <laughs> so we go no say. I, I mean, uh, we go read the news now. Make you know exactly why they come out now to call him a bloody man. Because uh, the followers of Simon Epa now the worst name where they ever want to hear concerning their prime minister in exile. We no get uh, ground. <laughs> prime minister where they run from other countries. <laughs> I think uh, if you uh, even come on. Uh, Come on, ordinary, uh, what do they call it? A uh, uh, person will get chief tasty title in our land. Or oh, let's say, either in Yoruba land or in our land, I say this one now, now you or uh, Emir, or this one now, Bali. They don't refer to enter other, other people's territory. But our own uh, prime minister, you go hide for Finland, come they make noise for Twitter. I beg now, don't be talking, I so they take talk at this one. Come they make noise for Twitter. <laughs> His life no balance you. So now uh, they don't they call him, they say his name now na agent of provocator Ekberima in Finland. Na so they take talk. Um. Well, another headline we have here. Uh, um, if you are obedient and you are watching me, let me tell you people the simple truth. You know, I know they side anybody, and uh, and uh, I refuse to be intimidated. Peter B will be the presidential candidate where everybody they follow for Labour Party is not doing well. If you have a special advisor, let him advise him. Since this election petition of 18 started, the only Labour Labour Party did the sack nationwide. All that, listen, even they win all the whole elections, no rigging. With a very good margin, all of them have been sacking them one after the other. Very soon, if Kai is not taken, they will sack uh, Alex Oti from that office. Mark my word. Peter Obi and his uh, legal team, including uh, the so called uh, Abure, they are not doing anything. The only thing they are concerned is that. 15 million US dollars and also that uh, for uh, what do they call it and uh, the 12 billion naira being contributed for them to run the election till today they have refused to give account how much they spend those money now they are warming up they want to go to uh, supreme court what are you going there to do you just want to waste the the, the party's uh, 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 finance and nothing more nothing less going to uh, who are you all that have been uh, rumored since they go to meet uh, Turumbu at the uh, UK and they say it's a lie. And when you say something now, in every uh, rumor there's an atom of truth. When there is any word being spoken concerning these people and all the people where they leak all these things, now close allies. And there is a warning to the Nigerians. Let them know how they will curtail this. But Nigerians, they will only just went to Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram and begin to speak a big, big grammar. At the end of the day, no action. Yes. Are you Olana? Who is a Yoruba man now? Nah. You tell me now. You go to the tribunal. Our man does not give you give you uh, justice. Now Yoruba man will consult his own Yoruba person. They can't give you justice. They just want to waste the money. Look at what is happening. How many uh, the lawmaker have been sacked in other states? Uh, 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 the, the other one now in Enugu state have been sacked. Kanu Kaduna almost all the whole they win at thirty four seats at that uh, both, both the state and the national level, and that uh, this uh, more. Uh, if, uh, lawmakers of 18, but how many remains now? Very soon they will begin to sack the, the nearly six uh, uh, senators they get and sack all of them. Peter B and his uh, uh, allies, Abure and the rest of them, are not doing anything. And I'm not, he said, I'm not blaming uh, Lamida Papa and uh, Abayomi that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that is out there, that is in their image. They deserve it. It is suspicious. Labour Party forms as tribunal sacks its federal lawmakers nationwide. Nigeria don't record another 148 crude oil theft incidents in just ordinary six days. Now NNPCL, now they come out, they tell us this one. Hmm. Upon all the whole security, upon how many billions of the Naira being paid to Tampolo 
and his men that they said it's a pipeline, garden pipeline contract today. Crude oil theft, I see. Now, see the same people now, where they got the pipeline, I see the single that they go still a grant a, 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 a amnesty to the people that is doing all this nonsense. Nigeria is a, is a fair nation and also a banana republic. Anyway, my wonderful people, I beg, let us go to the reason why we are here. Remember, you need to like, comment, subscribe, and also of them all share. Anyway, this message, why I want to bring on for now, now is built it in by Mazi Ezioku Bondo. And uh, this one, they happen for Biafra Post. One of the indigenous people of Biafra is a backbone in the struggle for the liberation of her people from the shackles of the oppressive Nigeria government is her well-calculated diplomatic engagements. This is the reason the Nigerian uh, government considers the indigenous people of Biafra Ipo more deadly than Boko Haram. The indigenous people of Biafra's uh, versatility or versatility according to the way you may pronounce it in reasoning and uh, championing for the freedom of her people caged in the so-called country Nigeria has destroyed what is left of the human zoo called Nigeria existing in the African continent. Don't ever think or don't you uh, don't ever you think that the Fulani government of Nigeria can't wipe out all of uh, you answerable to that uh, Finland Best criminal. Yes, if the Fulani government of Nigeria are not the sole sponsors of that Finland based criminal infiltrators, agent provocateurs, and his gang of autopilot in less than 24 hours, the Nigerian government will have uh, dispersed them from their hideout and uh, nip their criminality in the mud on time rather than uh, celebrating the criminal and his gangs in the pages of the Nigerian newspapers as IPOB a factional leader, when in uh, our record, IPOB have no factional leader or group representing her in any professional engagement with world body and people that matter in a sane society. Recall that once you go, uh, uh, once you go violence against the British and Nigerian government uh, consort arrangements, they are ever ready to reciprocate such a gesture because they are brute in nature and unreasonable in discharging their role of engagement in anything pertaining to the name Biafra. That is the reality of okay, the reality in Nigeria today. What Simon Ekberima is doing is a recruited agent provocateur. Is what the Nigerian government needs to invade our nation or our region so as to emboldened them to pillage or pillage our land and more kill and spill innocent blood and then make a concocted press release and target combating terrorism in the southeast do you really think that that a dwarf or a boy called Simon Ekberima whose base in Finland is really doing what he is doing to free you or Martin Namdekano from the DSS solitary confinement he is doing it to make you go violent and put the southeast ablaze and the market the Biafra liberation movement so that our people will give up on IPOP and Mazin Namdekano, then he will hand over the Biafra agitation calls to the Nigerian government that recruited him as to a lawless entity. This is the deal they signed with Simon Ekpa. In other development, Simon Ekperima is doing everything possible to set up Biafrans against each other using his hijacked ruthless sit at home orders. As a cover up, the thing is, his uh, autopilot mil uh, militias we are mandated to keep on uh, killing our people while our people will be complaining to authorities in our region, which comprises of the traditional rulers, religious leaders, and state uh, government for help and safety. Then, this caliber of leaders will be left with no other choice than to bring the attention of the Nigerian government to our eastern region and once this happens the nigerian government will draft in troops into our region and our region becomes a war torn zone simon ekberima that is deceiving you with the fighter jets and warships will be nowhere to be found when he must have succeeded in setting up our region on fire what are you going to use and fight the nigerian troops then how many how many are you in autopilot or do you think that once you go uh, rogue 
like the Ekperima. He's telling you that they will release Mazen Namdekano. <laughs> no, they will send in troops to our eastern region and kill innocent people for no reason whatsoever. Then you will realize how you were being fooled by the criminal living in Finland. In another paragraph, it is a pity how some of our people go about praising a well-known noisemaker on social media platforms while intelligent and credible people in the rank and file of the DOS are moving mountains for the total liberation of our people silently. The reason Nigeria governments have nothing to hold and attack South East is because of all of those years past, IPOV have remained peaceful in our approach to freedom fighting while diplomatically fighting to get a waiver on referendum in Nigeria. The core reason the Nigerian uh, government uh, why they contracted uh, Simon Ekberima to infiltrate the IPOC struggle and make some of you to go rogue is this, is uh, this we give them enough reason to come to Biafra land and kill at will. You can only cry and shout. But the souls lost are lost forever. Mazi Namdekano will soon be free. The Nigerian government know this perfectly well and clear as they have nothing against him to live in onto or to leverage onto. They are just delaying his release and we get tired sooner than later. It is our duty. Those in the media department of this struggle to keep reminding our people the very principles of this liberation cause. The ethics and ethos in which Mazi Namdekano runs and funded this um, uh, movement for the liberation of his Biafran people living in amalgamated Nigeria with no defined purpose of building a statehood nation devoid of tribalism, nepotism, suppression, oppression, inequality, unjust killings, and ethnic profiling. Mazi Namdekano founded IPOB that uh, he leads and comments no uh, on a non-violence approach and we still make it public if we decide to change our strategy to bearing arms this is the sole reason why the nigerian government and uh, her accomplices in crime have spent millions of dollars to kidnap him in kenya under the serious tortures and illegally rendition him to nigeria against all known uh, international and local laws, treaties, conventions, and protocols to see if IPOB will pick up arms and declare arms struggle in the cause of our emancipation because they know that Maze Namdekano said diplomatic engagements will uh, uh, <laughs> engagements world over a top notch. Surgically, the certain Nigeria without dispelling a single bullet shot and they know that his methods and approaches to the realization of Biafra are more deadly than going rogue and violence. On a here am, this one though, the news where I brought on this morning. I suppose to add another news to this, but I want you people to read it, digest it, understand it, love it, and also share it. Very, very important and very, very necessary. This message needs to get to every nose and crannies to know exactly why Simon Eber have been contracted to destabilize the Southeast. But when you talk, people don't understand. They said, what are you doing? Hey, listen to me. Everybody must not be violent like him. There are people doing underground work on this uh, Biafran struggle. So you cannot expect everybody to be going on social media and be making noise like Simon Eber. Commanding troops here and there, setting up uh, arms, uh, wearing a, a military uh, uh, camouflage every now and then, and they're clapping for him. But he is making his billions of naira on daily basis from Twitter. And the Nigerian government that is sponsoring him is also paying him bougely. The other day I saw him leaving Afro and was like, I said, look at this boy. Uh, look at this 35 years old boy. Using the millions heads of uh, people who are old enough to be his uh, grandfather. Using their heads to play. All in the name of, uh, you are leading autopilot, you are fighting for the release of Mazinam the Kano. And uh, you are fighting for the release of Martin and Nekano on a violent mode. And you think uh, uh, just a, a small brain like you can put the whole Nigerian country. You know what they call Fulani people. 
uh, just uh, only sit at home and uh, warming your mouth, running from one uh, end to the other, that will force them and they must release mass and they can But I don't put a government under force, no. No matter how you do it, no matter how you do it, government can never be succumbed to your to your forceful uh, approach. No, everything has to be under that uh, which uh, the, the, the lead councils. Imagine Nam the Kano's elite council, Michael Zekume, uh, the likes of uh, Aloysius Ejimako, and uh, uh, Ifan Ejofo, and other ones. They are doing their work on the ground, making sure that uh, they get justice for Mazin Nam the Kano, uh, illegal uh, incarceration and detention. So, this one is my candid advice to all the autopilots. Do what? Make your own research. Use your brain. Please, let us stop uh, doing follow follow. Let's not stop uh, allowing people to use our brains as if we are illiterates. So please, help me share this message, like it, comment on it, and make sure you turn on the notification button. I'll be right back again with another blog Have a nice day and bye for now. Kemesiano.